In no particular order, the first of 10 TV series I'll be showing you that we highly enjoyed is Shogun. Appearing on the FX network and streaming on Hulu, this historical drama is based on the novel of the same name. Set in the year 1600, it follows John Blackthorne, an English sailor who ends up shipwrecked in Japan with Lord Yoshi Toronaga fighting for his life with enemies uniting against him. This is a must-watch series, perhaps one of the best released over the past few years. The writing and acting are top-notch with amazing visuals and production values. Shogun was originally released as a miniseries. Because of its amazing success, FX has renewed it, not for just the typical one season most shows get, they actually renewed it for a second and third season. Next up is The Gentleman. This action comedy created by Guy Ritchie on Netflix is a spin-off of the 2019 film of the same name. The story follows Eddie, the 13th Duke of Halstead and a former United Nations peacekeeping officer. After inheriting his father's estate, he learns that part of his land has become part of a weed growing empire. With the proprietors refusing to leave, Eddie must navigate a world of eclectic and dangerous characters with nefarious agendas while also trying to protect his home and stay alive. The Gentleman is a fast-paced show with plenty of twists that will keep you highly entertained throughout its eight episodes. Mr. Bates vs. The Post Office is a four-part British miniseries that was originally broadcast on ITV in the UK prior to being broadcast on PBS here in the States. Based on a true story, it follows the British post office scandal with hundreds of sub-postmasters being falsely prosecuted for fraud. All I'll say about this series is that it's absolutely brilliant. If you missed it when it was broadcast here in the States, it's now available for free on the PBS app. Up next is the mystery detective drama, Sugar. Available on Apple TV+, Plus. it stars Colin Farrell in the lead role as John Sugar. He plays a private detective struggling with personal demons who investigates the disappearance of Olivia Siegel, the beloved granddaughter of Hollywood producer Jonathan Siegel. While investigating, he discovers secrets of the Siegel family, new and old. Sugar features a fantastic performance from Farrell, his best role in years, and the story has twists and turns that will keep you guessing. Fallout is another amazing show that's up there with Shogun as being one of the best TV shows released over the past few years. Fallout is a post-apocalyptic science fiction western on Prime Video based on the popular video game series. The story takes place in the aftermath of the Great War of 2077 in an alternate history of Earth where the citizens must live in underground bunkers to protect themselves from radiation, mutants, and bandits. Whether you've played the Fallout games or not, this is a show that will appeal to both newcomers and longtime fans. It's freakishly fun to watch with interesting characters, especially the ghoul who is played superbly by Walton Goggins. Prime Video has renewed Fallout for a second season. Ripley is a psychological mystery thriller on Netflix based on the crime novel The Talented Mr. Ripley. It stars Andrew Scott as Tom Ripley and Dakota Fanning as Marge Sherwood. This eight episode limited series set in New York during the late 1950s follows Tom Ripley, a down on his luck con man who was hired by a wealthy man to convince his prodigal son to return home from Italy. Tom's acceptance of this job is the first step in a life of deceit, fraud, and murder. The acting is great, and even though Ripley was shot in black and white, the cinematography is top notch. Next up is Outer Range on Prime Video. The science fiction neo-western stars Josh Brolin as Royal Abbott, a rancher fighting for his land and family. While coping with the disappearance of his daughter-in-law, he discovers a mysterious void at the edge of Wyoming's wilderness. This is one of those shows that starts out slowly, but once the sci-fi twist is revealed, it picks up quite a bit. I'll be the first to admit that this show won't be for everyone, but if you're into shows that get more bizarre with each new episode, this one's for you. Two seasons of Outer Range are available to watch right now on Prime Video. Blue Lights is a British crime drama that was originally broadcast on BBC One in the UK. The series follows rookie police officers in Belfast, along with the experienced officers who train, mentor, and work with them. This is not the standard British police drama. It's on par with shows like Happy Valley and Line of Duty. 
two seasons of Blue Lights have already been broadcast on BBC One. Here in the States at this time, only season one is available on the streaming service BritBox. I expect season two to be coming soon. Up next is the historical dark comedy drama, The Sympathizer, that was broadcast on HBO and is also available on the Max streaming service. The six episode miniseries is based on the captain, a North Vietnam spy in the South Vietnam Army, who is forced to flee to the United States with his general near the end of the Vietnam War. This is one of those shows that's a lot better than we expected. It's well written with multi-layered characters. Robert Downey Jr., who plays four different characters, is fantastic as well. The Righteous Gemstones is not a new series, but we recently just started watching it, so I'll include it. Originally broadcast on HBO, the series was created by Danny McBride, who some of you will know from his other shows, East Bound and Down and Vice Principals. The Righteous Gemstones follows a famous dysfunctional family of televangelists who are led by widowed patriarch Eli Gemstone. With so few good comedies being made lately, it's worth checking out, and it's actually funny. The ensemble cast, including Walton Goggins, who I mentioned earlier, are fantastic. Three seasons of The Righteous Gemstones are available to watch right now on Max and has been renewed for a fourth season. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you to find a new show to watch, give it a thumbs up. If you have a favorite TV show that you think deserves more attention, let us know about it in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, share this video with others, subscribe, and hit the bell for more TV show recommendations and other tech-related stuff.